Hi, and welcome to our special Yom Ha'atzma'ut program with the Embassy of Israel in Canada. Jeremiah the prophet describes how Israel will become a desolate place, a place of destruction, a place where no real vitality will be found. And then there will come a day where once again the sounds of laughter and joy will be heard all throughout the streets of Jerusalem and throughout the entire land of Israel. The sounds of weddings and simchas and celebrations and life cycle events blaring throughout the streets will be heard. And if for anyone that has been to Israel, we all know that that point in time has arrived. You walk through the city of Jerusalem and you find vitality, vibrancy, sounds of joy and laughter and all throughout Israel as well. And even during this last year, or perhaps those sounds were more muted, we didn't hear them as much. We saw real vitality as we saw a Jewish government taking care of their citizens, where we saw the Israeli army taking care of Holocaust survivors and the elderly throughout this pandemic. And we were able to rejoice at that. So perhaps the sounds of laughter and joy were a little bit less heard, but certainly the sounds of caring, the images of sensitivity and empathy that make Israel special, make Israel unique, were heard throughout the land. Today, we have a very special opportunity. As we celebrate Yom Ha'atzmaut, the day of Israel's independence, we have a musical Hallel. Hallel, those psalms, the Tehillim of joy written by King David that we sing to channel our most fervent joy. We have today sung by three of the very special families that have recently moved into Ottawa's Jewish community from the state of Israel. The Wilner family, the Morantz family, and the Lipschitz family. And of course, at this point, I'd like to introduce the Charge d'Affaires of the Embassy of Israel here in Canada, Marco Sermonetta, to introduce today's program. And then we will follow with our musical halal led by our three wonderful families. You can find the entire Hallel in your prayer books in any Sidur that you have at home. And I hope you enjoy and share in the celebration of Yom Ha'atzma'ut together with us today. This is the day which God has made. We will rejoice and be glad on it. This verse from the Hallel prayer has been a part of our collective celebrations for generations. When the people of Israel crossed the Red Sea on their way to the land of Israel, they said this verse. When they made their way to the temple in Jerusalem three times a year, they sang it. And when the Maccabeum rekindled the lights of the menorah, they too chanted these words. Today, on the 73rd anniversary of the establishment of the State of Israel, as we together write the next chapters of Jewish history, we can proudly say, this is the day we will rejoice. Only a generation ago, the possibility of a successful, vibrant, and secure Jewish state was barely even a dream. Today, it is something that can conceivably be taken for granted, something that to our children always existed and probably always will. We, of course, are only too aware that this is not the case. Just yesterday, on Yom Azikaron, we contemplated the great cost we paid and still pay to have a Jewish state, while only a week ago, on Yom HaShoah, we contemplated the cost of not having one at all. This understanding and sense of history not only gives us reason to rejoice and celebrate, but also the responsibility to support and protect this miracle that is the State of Israel. Though I was not here at the time, I heard this congregation as a way with miracles. Only a few months ago, Rabbi Sher and the Embassy of Israel, in a historic event, lit Hanukkah candles with counterparts in the United Arab Emirates and Bahrain, connecting the miracle of Hanukkah with the miracle of peace and friendship. Each year of Israel's independence is another step or advancement in the strength and achievements of our country. Achievements in science, technology, and agriculture. Achievements in defense, economics, and foreign relations, as well as in culture and in the arts. Israel has become indeed a light unto the nations in many fields. This year, the new ties with many Arab countries and the promise of growth, stability, and peace that come with it are truly amazing achievements worth celebrating on this Yom Atzmaut. 
as the representative of the State of Israel in Canada, charged with representing the interests and ideals of the State of Israel, it gives me great pride and honor to see communities like yours celebrate our Independence Day together. So, on Israel's 73rd birthday, I would like to thank you all for your involvement and engagement with Israel. I look forward to welcome you all in Israel when this pandemic is finally behind us. And I hope you and your families will continue to view Israel as a source of pride and joy and never take it, its existence for granted. I wish you all a Chag Atzmaut Sameach. Ha 
Israel's national anthem. 